Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a, a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading, August 5th to August 11th, uh, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we're going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of Sagittarius week is going to be the uh, Knight of Swords, followed by the second one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome, guys. This is going to be uh, the um, <clears throat> Death card. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the positive aspect of the week. That will be the Tree of Cups. And then the last one, that it is the guidance that you need to overcome throughout the week. This is to be uh, the Six of Pentacles. So, uh, just the first impression of um, <clears throat> of these cards is that, well, I don't know how to how to make it up. I, is it well? Probably the um, the catalyst is gonna show us what exactly is this. But there is a, a two ways how this can play out, right? Either uh, it's definitely involved a person in, all right? So either a person is gonna come into your life or a person is going to detach from your life. One of the two, okay? Either way, uh, it seems that uh, you will have, it will be very difficult for you to, to align with this, either coming in or coming or going out. It will be at, at start, it's gonna be very difficult for you to align with it because in one of the ways is going to deprive you from assets in the other ways is going to bring assets that you may find difficult how to use okay but <clears throat> with time you are going to get the hang of it and on top of that you know you are to uh, realize that this is what, what happened is for the great uh, for the greater future all right so uh that being said let's run the cards down one more time and uh we are going to jump straight into the reading afterwards scrutinizing it so knight of swords it is the it is the topic followed by the death card and that is the card that literally shows that it's definitely this person is going to change your life, but is it coming in or is it going out? We are about to see, all right? It's maybe coming in because of the third one, but still, we, we are going to see that. So um, afterwards is going to be the uh, Three of Cups, which is the positive aspect. And then the last one here is going to be the Six of Pentacles, which is the guidance. All right, so uh, let's draw straight away one more card to the uh, Knight of Swords so we see what we are talking about here. Uh, <clears throat> Well, that is a, a person with certain awakening, okay? That is a, a person who, uh, it's it's very determined to seek their their happiness. So these two cards does not say to us, is this someone who disproves your ways and wants to escape from your environment? Or is someone who sees you as, um, 
as a fulcrum of happiness of theirs or as a fulcrum of, of assets of theirs, all right? But the thing with these two cards is that this week revolves, your week revolves around the, your person who is determined to, uh, to, like I said, to break certain blockages into their life because they have been feeling quite miserable, miserable for quite some time. And now through this awakening that they do have, finally they can put their intellectual abilities and agile thinking into play and kind of finding out a the the, the true way for themselves how they can uh, overcome the difficulty of their situation which could be as well a difficulty into your situation now the thing with the knight of swords and especially with the hangman next to it it's where he realizes that he's unhappy. That's that's the whole thing because every time the knight made decision, it's that decision should be always consulted with the knight's emotions. But the thing is with the knight with the um with the hangman is that his emotions up until this moment was blocked, all right? And now suddenly these emotions resurface, all right? So kind of what kind of decision the knight is going to make. Hopefully, we are to see in the following cards that are to come. So, the challenge is here, it's the death. So, the death represents change. And that is exactly what the person is going to do for you. It's either going to change your environment by stepping in or changing your environment by going out. Let's see what happens here. It's coming in. King of Pentacles. Formation, passive friends. So... This is what I think happened back in the days and how it's going to play out throughout the week. So this person wanted to be into your environment back in the days. Unfortunately, for them, that is, they had nothing to offer. OK, but this changed and now they do have what to offer to you, Sagittarius. That could be an, an offer for a business, that could be an offer for a relationship, that could be any kind of an offer, all right? The thing is with these two cards is that this time around, however, their offer is catching you by surprise and also uh, their offer comes with, uh, with certain obligations that you need to... Um, how can I place it, that, that you need to agree to oblige to, all right? And it's definitely this person has the, um, the heart of the crowd. What I mean is that your friends, whatever your friends are, or wherever your friends are, or whatever relationship your friends has with this person, uh, Knight of Swords, they sympathize the person, all right? And they will strongly urge you to take the offer. So that could be someone who wanted to be, let's say, in a relationship with you. You declined, you denied them because back in the days you did not sow what they actually have to offer to make you happy. But now they have a good job, they have well-established future, you know, they are pretty, let's say, wealthy. And they still have those emotions for you. But before, back in the days, those emotions would, were blocked by you itself. And now they're coming back and they're offering everything you, they have. But that comes with a catch, right? You also need to offer something. Now only being with them isn't enough. You know, and so you to benefit from their good fortune, you will also need to share something from yourself. So that is the challenge here to accept the change of the circumstances and to see, you know, are you willing to, 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 to give it a go or are you not willing to give it a go? It's entirely up to you. But the thing is that you do have a second chance with this one. And this time around, it's highly advisable not to waste it. It is just what uh, what these cards are pointing because the change is coming one way or another. And the more you try to resist it, the harder is going to become in the future and more painful is going to come in the future. In fact, I do believe that if you deny that person a second time, either for a business proposal, you know, for a, a friendship or for a, a relationship or whatever, you are to regret that soon after, you know, seeing how successful that person is in either way. Uh, you would have liked to turn back the time and to say, yeah, let's try it out. So the positive, the positive aspect of the week, we do have the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups plays in in few ways for you. First of all, your friends are going to see the true face of the situation. Therefore, they're going to uh, share their vision with you. And the more they do that, the more you will become convinced 
which is the right convictions here, that actually this 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 thing does worth it. Okay. The other, the other way how the Tree of uh, Cups is going to manifest itself is that you're going to see results straight away. You, you accept that person in your life, you're going to see results immediately. And then it's about emotional overflow. It's about emotional synchronization, if I may say it that way, where your emotions are completely accepted and uh, deprived from judgment from everybody around you, including the Knight of Swords. So that being said, you don't have to hide anything within, but you can just lay it out, okay? And you are gonna face nothing but support from the people around you. The accompanied card here is going to be the Temperance and the Formation. It is a, a passive enemies that we do have. So how the Temperance could be an enemy to the, um, to the Three of Cups? Well, in this case, the temperance points that you are way too uh, independent is not the word that I'm searching of. Uh, let's say way too unwilling to, 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 to see other options available or to see other points of view. That's the, not options available, but points of view. Okay. And uh, that being said, you are biased by your previous points of view where you denied the Knight of Swords. But now the circumstances changed it, changed it changes it, all right, or change the situation itself. And now you need to recognize those new circumstances. And this is what the people are going to help you to do so, to recognize the new circumstances and not feeling guilty or ashamed that you have to accept it. That's that's the whole uh, situation. Now that, I th that, now that I'm thinking of, because I do have a very important Sagittarius in my life, you know, it's not my girlfriend or anything, I'm completely single, but yeah, it's a person that I care for, and uh, this person is searching for a job, you know, and if that's the reading for them, maybe uh, the, this reading to me, it does speak that that was a, a job that was probably offered to them or it had a chance to happen back in the days but for one or another reason it did not happen well now the job comes around with new circumstances and this Sagittarius has to be completely unbiased taking it because you know even though back in the days it seemed unfair one way or another now it is completely fair as a matter of fact it has a very lucrative ending if you look at these cards all right it has a room for promotions for raises and all these kind of stuff so finally, what we do have, it is the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Sagittarius, and this is going to be the Six of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles tells us a couple of things. It First of all, the most important thing it tells us is the decision is entirely on you, all right? You say no or yes, you have nothing else to blame but yourself if you're not happy with the results. The second thing that the Six of uh, Pentacles says is that this thing that happening to you, it's extremely natural. It is just where the, all the decisions back in the days led you to because the Six of Pentacles is about the hierarchy. It's about the natural structure. It's about the natural flow, the current that the universe works under. And uh, it's uh, it's a simply thing that uh, if you don't take this, uh, this new circumstances, what you do is, is instead going with the current, with the flow, you are trying to swim against it. And what, what happens when one trying to swim, is trying to swim against the current? Well, we, for one, the one is struggling, you know, so you swim against the current. And the second, the one makes small to no progress because the current is stronger than anybody. You remember that? The accompanied card here is going to be the Ace of Cups formation. It is a, a passive friend. So the current, guys, is going to offer you uh, emotional, it's not even emotional satisfaction, it's exhilarating circumstances, it transcends your daily reality, it makes your issues, the, the worries that you do have, completely irrelevant, because it changes your life, okay? So that change with this second attempt, it changes your life. For the better there is no way how you can interpret this one as a bad thing all right it's just it just changes it for the better uh, you just need to put your pride on the pride excuse me on the shelf you need to listen to the advice of others people who cares for you you have to believe that um, these new circumstances are as sincere as they are and just take advantage of them that's all so that being said sagittarius this was your weekly tarot reading for a um 
August 5th to August 11, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to uh, see each other hopefully around. Until then, bye.